Hey friends, today I am working on harvesting my broccoli. I'm gonna harvest all the big crowns off. And this one I already cut off, look at that sucker. And then I'm gonna um, process them so that when I have to harvest this many at the same time, that's way more than we can eat. So I will harvest them and then I will um, blanch them and freeze them. So we'll talk about that too. So you are harvesting that first center stalk of broccoli. So you can see this nice big stalk in the middle. I mean, that sucker's huge. Don't forget that afterwards, all these little friends, like right here, will keep coming in. And so this broccoli, you can see another one over here. She will keep giving me broccoli harvest for quite some time here, okay? So that first broccoli is not the only one. You can keep them going until they flower. So, all right. So when you're gonna harvest this main stock, you go in and you look down to where the stock ends, okay? So you're just looking for the root. And with these great big ones, sometimes that's kind of hard to get to because they're so thick and they're so hard, you know, hard to reach. So you just keep cutting until you've got all that broccoli off. And then any other side shoots that look like they're ready to go, get those as well. So that's what it'll look like after. It's kind of sad because it's so blank, but it'll fill back in with more broccoli later. So once I have my broccoli all put into my garden hod that my father-in-law made me, isn't that thank you? You go through and you just start cutting off some of the stalks. And you really want to get it down to about the size you would have on your table. Any extra that gets left over is going to go to the rabbits or the compost pile or to the chickens. So I'm going to take all this and harvest it down into those usable stalks. So then, after I've got those pieces, I take them out to my garden and hose them off. And that's the great thing about having a harvest basket like this, is that you can really hose them off in there. One less thing that's dirty, give them a good shake, get a lot of that water off of them. Now they're all nice and beautiful, ready to go in the kitchen. Dump that boiling broccoli into the colander in the sink. Get an ice bath ready, and you set it right in your ice bath. You want it to get really cold, really fast. Let it sit there for a few minutes so that it really stops cooking completely. After you let the broccoli cool down in that ice bath for a few minutes, then I dump it out, let all the water drain, and then just put it into Ziploc bags and then you just put it directly in the freezer. Do you like broccoli? Say, I do like broccoli. How much broccoli do you eat? He says, I eat all the broccoli that gets dropped on the ground. He's very helpful. Yes, he is. And handsome. So a few little follow-ups. Um, the broccoli, you wanna have your, once you've got your broccoli crowns all ready, you've got them cut, in, they're you know, fresh, raw broccoli. Um, you're gonna cut them into those pieces that are about the size of what you would have on your table. And then you have your water boiling. Once your water's good and boiling, you put you dump all that broccoli in there as quick as you can. Um, better to boil too much water than not enough. You don't wanna overflow the pot when you throw it in there. So I use one of those big um, stock pots. Once you've got it in there, then you um, boil it for three minutes, uh, sometimes only two and a half, depending on the size of the broccoli pieces you cut. You do not, you're not trying to cook it. You're not trying to have it ready to go on your table. You're just trying to blanch it which just takes out some of the um, bacteria in it that'll make it deteriorate, not be crisp and fresh uh, after it's been frozen. So if you just freeze it when it's raw, if you just throw it right in the freezer, it comes out kind of a soggy mess when you try to cook it. If you blanch it, it'll come out nice and crisp and fresh and green instead of turning kind of a weird beige, which is nasty. Nobody wants to eat beige broccoli. So once you've cooked it for three minutes, before you even put it in that pot, you've already got another stock pot sitting in your kitchen sink full of ice water, super, super cold water. I throw all my ice in there and fill it with water and I want that to be absolutely the coldest water you can possibly get. Um, so I have it in the stock pot, it boils for three minutes, I dump it into the colander and then I put the whole colander in that water bath. 
the water bath, um, I used to throw my broccoli directly into the water bath. Like I'd scoop it out with a spoon and put it in the water bath. For some reason, I just did not have the intelligence to think of using a colander back then. And that was a horrible problem because then you had to pick your broccoli pieces out of that water bath and you had to make sure you didn't get a bunch of ice cubes. So it was a pain in the ass. So now I dump the boiling water right into the colander with the broccoli. And then when the broccoli is uh, in the colander, I put it right into the ice bath. The colander sits on top of that ice bath, so when you lift the colander out, you're just lifting the broccoli out, and you don't have to pick it out of this huge ice bath. Uh, I know most people are gonna say, yeah, no shit on that one, but I just, I didn't grow up in the kitchen. I didn't know how to do that. That just wasn't something that made sense in my brain, and I did figure it out. So if you're like me and didn't grow up in a kitchen, you need that explained to you. Or if you're like me and you think like Amelia Bedelia and you do everything super literally, you also need that explained. Um, then once it's, once I, it's been the ice bath, maybe five minutes, you know, I just kind of leave it in there, five, maybe 10, good and cold. I take it out of the ice bath and then I dump it on a towel on the counter and let it drain off the rest of the water that's in it. Um, and then I divide it up into the portions that we need for our family size. For us, we're a pretty big family, so we need those portion sizes to be fairly large. That broccoli I had today made four total servings, one fresh serving that we'll have tonight and then three that I could freeze. The three that are frozen, I put them in gallon Ziploc bags and I do double bag them in the freezer. So I would take those three portions, put each one of those into a gallon Ziploc bag. I get all the air out, fold them down so they're nice and small, you know, as small as I can get them, you know, like fold them over a couple times. And then I put all three of those portions into one big Ziploc and it'll sit in the freezer like that. I've eaten them when they've been in there up to two years. It's probably not recommended. You're probably not supposed to keep frozen food that long, but it's from my garden, I think it's okay. Oh, Lily's sneezing. So um, that is how you blanch broccoli and that's how I deal with broccoli when I have too much.